Hello humans, my name is Nevitz, aka the Gutter Monkey, and I am back with some more Game of Thrones. Let's get started. Alright, we are at we are at Tommen's uh whatever you call it, the thing where he becomes king. And I don't know what to do. I guess I'm just trying to figure out more information. I've already told you, and didn't we agree to stop talking business? All right, Ricard. How about something more personal then? Oh, you're calling me Ricard now. Well, when are you going to get married? <laughs> <laughs> I love. <know. laughs> that took a turn, didn't it? You didn't answer the question. Maybe we can marry that guy and solve all of our problems. And a Lannister, too. Uh, I thought we were done talking about this. You asked me about my friends. Uh, friends, yes. Lyman is your business partner. What's the difference? Uh, fair enough, Andros. Then if my friends happen to protect me from the crown, all the better. <laughs> I think I need more wine. Okay, which one was Lyman Lannister? They showed like two guys when they were talking about him. Where, where, where are they? Oh, well, there's one of them. Is that him? Yeah, okay. So maybe I'll, I'll listen around before I talk to him though, see if I can get some more information. Uh, okay, let me see if I can listen to anybody more before I talk to him. Check out the view while I'm here. Why not? Oh, it seems so calm out there. Okay, that was totally worth it. Uh, no thanks. Okay, let's go talk to, uh, what's his name? Sarah and Tarwick. Should we talk to them actually right now? I'm afraid it might. Uh, to hell with it. I'm afraid it might cut me out of the scene. Sarah, Lord Tarwick. Well met, Lady Lyra. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you looking at Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mira is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. Oh, tell me, you can tell tell me, me about Lyman. I can keep a secret, can't I, Sarah? I was wondering what you could tell me about Lyman Lannister. Lyman? Really, that story is not appropriate for present company. That joke's getting a bit tired, don't you think? I wouldn't want you to think ill of someone you've never met. Don't be angry. Perhaps later, then. Perhaps another time. Hmm. I should be going. Stay out of trouble, Mira. Well, that Lyman guy waved at him earlier. He looked kind of like a mess, like a drunk or a... <laughs> kind of like a junkie. But, uh... He seemed nice, though, from the, you know, from his hand gestures. <laughs> I don't know what you can really gain from that, but. Okay, to tell with it, I'm going to go talk to Lyman. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Jesus. Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. Let me help. Here, let me help. That's very kind of you. Thank you. But I'm fine. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. 
I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. You look out of place. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? Look like you need company. I'm trying to <laughs> get in there smoothly. You look like you could use some company. What are you doing all by yourself? I don't mind, really. I only came to discuss some business with Lord Andros. <laughs> I'm told it's rude to leave early. Oh? What kind of business? I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand? No, oh, come on. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. Whispered in my ear. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I... Well... <laughs> I suppose I could just... Lyman! What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... Damn it. I didn't realize. Don't over here and blow it at my, my spot. Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Somebody want to stick up for me here? Chivalry is dead. Lady Marjorie. Oh God. Lady Marjorie. Hey, go on somewhere, Marjorie. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Uh, don't be a tease. Don't tease me, Lord Tarwick. I'll keep your secret safe. Trying to use my sex appeal on all these I guys. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Oh, nuts. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. He's wanting to know she's a bastard. Very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. Oh, God damn it. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I, I really couldn't her say. Family, her parentage. I really couldn't say, my lord. Spare me the pretense. You know her as well as anybody. Now tell me the truth. Look, I don't know, all right? Please, Lady Mira. Well, I'm going to lie because I... It'd be messed up if I didn't. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, Lord Tarwick, it's your turn. Exactly. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago... Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He is a junkie. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. He'd be horrified if everyone knew. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe you shouldn't. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? A man's mouth is bigger than the Blackwater. Apparently yours is Lord too. Lyman has no idea. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. Lady Mira. Die. All right, so he's a junkie. Uh, he see he's nice though. He seemed nice. Okay, so I don't want to be mean to him, but I feel like I'm gonna be put in that position. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just, just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. I know about your situation, Lyman. How you were hurt in Lannisport. How painful that must have been. You don't know what you're talking about. It's no wonder you still need milk of the poppy. No, I've never... It can't have been easy. Andros has been holding that over my head for years. Now it's my turn. Then don't let him. Andros was wrong about you, Lady Mira. You're kind. And you should know what he's... I should warn you. Yes, I agree. Do that. Warn me about what? Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. Oh, shit. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. God damn it. Uh, but is... Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well... Now you know, too. That army will destroy my family! That was his hope, I'm sure, but I... It's only fair that you know, Lady Mira. What you do with it is up to you. But... I'd better get my affairs in order. <laughs> what did I tell you? I've had enough of this, Andros. She showed me what you've been doing. I'm done. Haha. -ha. Dick. Glare at him. Glare hard. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. You realize that, I hope. Don't be so dramatic. Don't be so bloody dramatic. Because I'm just getting started. Lard ass. Yeah, go wobble away, you punk. Alright, Mira's, uh... Mira's becoming a bit of a... Tough cookie. I don't know if that'll work out well for us, but we are low on options. You sure you know where you're going? Cotter? Cotter is from uh, north of the wall. Let's see that map again. He's a wildling. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. How much food we got left? Here we are. Carried. How's the food? That we should keep moving. Better if we're moving in the right direction, though. Doesn't matter if we all starve before we even get there. Maybe we'll find we're some... We're on the right track. This way. Huh. There's bears. I guess that's what that meant. Oh shit. 
Oh, is that that one girl? What's her name? The, uh, you know nothing, Jon Snow. The girl. Free folk. Oh, this. Oh, this complicates things. You stay here. I'll try and talk to her. I'm one of them. Wait, what? He's a fucking wildling cutter. <laughs> they might kick me around a little, but whatever you do, don't come out, all right? She has to think I'm alone. If she sees you, you'll only make things worse. We don't think. No, I'm a, I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardholm. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm... Oh. Oh. You sure look like a crow to I'm me. Not. You're dressed like one. Shit, there's more of them. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend. Or I'll make him scream first. Listen. I don't want to fight. He told then us to stay hidden, to so please, we should stay hidden. Behind your wall. He'll be all right, won't he? I don't know, but he. I'm just. Ah, oh man. Ah, oh, I'm trusting stop. him. Stop, please. You don't like it. Shit. You best hope your little crow brothers come looking for you soon. Hopefully I'll get... Oh my god! How's that feel? I think you can do better than that. Oh shit. Over there! Well this plan's gone out of hell. Damn it. Uh, Carrot. Shit. Kill them. Kill him. Cutter. Oh. <gasps> Come on. Come on, bitch. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, man. I didn't want to do that. I'm sorry. Can't we just talk? No, 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 it's a food. Hey! Garrett! Garrett, no! She's not fighting yet! It's over! Uh, just don't do it! Garrett, let her go! God damn it. Shit. You're welcome. I've already killed a bunch of them, I mean, I may as well just finish it off. Are those the last of our supplies? Maybe I should have shot off to the side so it looked like I was trying to we hit her. can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on. We can rest up ahead. Damn it. Maybe we can eat one. <laughs> it's, it's a little morbid, but we're going to die. Okay, we're back home. We currently have control of the place, but I got a bad feeling it's not going to last. Did we kill the ravens? I thought I'd feel better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. 
You wanted to kill him, didn't you? I didn't touch him. How did you know when to stop? I don't think I could have. I suppose that's why you're the Lord. I knew it wasn't right. And I'm... I just knew it wasn't right. I wasn't the Lord I wanted to be. What do you think Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy... He won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. The spy might be, uh, Duncan. Lord Whitehill invites you to discuss a truce. Sure he does. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Yeah, I don't believe that either. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. She's right. What do you hope to accomplish? Spy. Gather information. See how fortified their castle really is. Well, that's true, I suppose. If we're to mount an assault. We'd only do that if they still held Ryan. But now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. A trade? His son for my brother. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first thing tomorrow morning. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. Uh, we obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you cannot go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We yeah, have small I'm, folks. I'm, I'm going to leave them here. Trained Royland. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Let Arthur know at once. Yes, my lord. I'll start making the preparations. If I die, we still have Ethan. Not Ethan, uh, Asher. To think that one of them might be spying for the White Hills. Royland just seems too Duncan obvious. Duncan to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Ironrath defenseless. Well, I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Royland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any of them betray us? I've known these people my whole life. As I weird as it you. may sound, Still, I think I trust Royland more. He seems to too stupid to betray me. To keep while we're gone. Sir Royland comes with us. Duncan can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask of me, even something dangerous. I don't care. Dahlia, you'll be the only forester at Ironrath while we're gone. I need you to rule in my stead. I'll... I'll do my best. I have faith in you, Talia. Ethan rose to this task. And so will you. Okay, yeah, but we know what happened there, so let's not repeat that. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. At least, I don't think he would. All right, thanks for that pep talk. I hope you're right, Mother. Okay, we're back in Essos. There's Asher. What's up? Don't worry about me. Focus on the mission. Your family needs you. That's what matters right now. Who said I was worried? I feel like I should be cocky with him. Who said I was worried about you? <laughs> Hello, Demarius, one eye. 
scary dragon. Shall we begin? Listen up! There are four of these guard posts throughout the city. They'll use them to warn the masters in case the slaves decide they're tired of wearing chains. We're here to make sure they don't see it coming. Therund, you take the north. Penn, the south. Asher, we'll take the east. East. And Kieran will cover the west. Make the enemy blind. Give the Unsullied a chance to get in and arm the slaves. The rest is up to them. Sounds simple enough. Don't get cocky out there. One mistake. And the you remember when we stole that giant war hammer? Get in. Do From what that you have woman to do in Lees? And get your people Didn't she hit you in the face with it? Yep. That's all you I never need to thought my head could feel any You worse. got that. I hope she's sober right now. Tonight, any man who wishes to be free may take that freedom from the grip of his master. You will clear a path for them, but they must walk it alone. Justice belongs to the people of Marine. Do not make them wait any longer. What does she know of justice? Is there a problem? Would you if shut you it? If you can't do this, tell me now. The masters will be judged by the people of Marine. How could I refuse? You. Is that understood? How could I possibly refuse you? Buddy, put a leash on that thing. You would be wise not to. You will both do as Croft commands. Follow his orders exactly, or you will get nothing. Okay. Now go. Show them the hell they have made here. I'll try. I feel like we're going to have to get our friend killed. Hoped I'd never see this place again. Tried to run once. Didn't make it very far. Which way? There's a path around there. Voids the main street. Let's just get this over with. Oh, no, no, get back, get back. Won't they see us right now? How do we, How could they not see us if we go over there? Go. Hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. What's the matter, Croft? You see how many guards are out there? Yeah. How were you expecting to get past them? We'll be caught. You asked me which way. This is it. Then we'll stay out of sight. Follow me. Advance when the coast is clear. Okay. Right, okay, <laughs> I didn't know they were gonna leave. I thought it was just like last time Can you see anyone? Cover me That Oh Shackles, blood, birds. Okay. Anything else we can look at? What do we got here? There's our target. We should hurry. Uh, and all the way up there. Take forever. Uh, 
Oh shit. Well, god damn it. Oh. Been used recently. Oh, I thought that was going to make me run over there. Shit. What are they doing? But they're kicking some guy's ass. Fisker. Must be a slave. Fisker. Man, you know she is gonna mess this whole thing up. My is Lee Wash. Shall she shall she Lee Wash? Skuda Hunta Swa. Yelwa Misha. My is Lee Wash. Shall she Lee Wash? Spalsa Washka. My is Lee Wash. But killed him. Yeah, she is way too emotionally invested in this. She's gonna mess something up. We have to go. She's thinking with her feelings and not her head. That's not good. There's something I have to do. Son of a bitch, I Mr. knew it. What are you doing? Do you trust me, Asha? We don't have time for this. Just oh, tell me. God. Do you trust me? I need to know. Fine. Of course I trust you. Good. This won't take long. Meska! Oh, Where are you going? Follow her! Woman. Maybe we should just let her do what she's going to do and wait behind. Uh, she's going to go kill those soldiers and get caught. Oh. Oh no, she's going after the master. Her master. He was my master. Yep. The man who forced me to. I'm going to kill you. That is a mercy compared to what you deserve. After oh, what God. you did to me, to those other children, I should tie you up. Let the fucking do what you dogs must, rip and you let's apart. get out of here. Nobody can blame you for wanting him dead. Do what you must. I will. Have you lost your mind? I'm ordering you to back away. Oh well, never mind then. We gotta go. My best guy. I am not. Let him go. What are you doing? I shoot. You will do as I say. Both of you, take her weapon. I need to do this, Asha. Shit. After everything he's done. And he'll pay for it. Once the city is free, he will be punished. Punished by a queen who has no right to. His life means nothing to her. She does not speak for the children who died in those. I'm gonna stop Asha, her. Stop her! I will get their justice. I won't let you ruin this for me. I'm stopping you heard her. What Daenerys said. Your queen will understand. She won't. Let go of me. I'm doing this, Asha. Take your hand off me. Please, for me. I've done all of this for you. I came here for you. We'll do this though. Damn you, Asha. Wait. Um. Ah. All right, good. Look, he's gonna die anyway. Okay. Just... We might just make it out of this alive yet. Hopefully. She's just getting started. All right, so we're back in the north. Over there. So when we 
you gonna tell me he's a fucking Wavi? Not now, Finn. What's the matter? He's still a human. Come on. Jesus. What the hell is this place? An old haunting camp. You can rest here. Until your friends attack us again. I know the signs, all right? It's abandoned. If we keep trusting him, eventually, you know, the odds are he's going to ah. be helpful. I'm going to go make sure nobody's lurking around out here. Don't trust this fucking place. Fine. Here. Let me take a look at it. Look at oh, it. How bad is it? I might have something that'll help. Just hurry up. Got this pocket full of maggots here. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm going to poke it. I. I have to. <laughs> if you're not gonna help, just leave it alone. I'm sorry. I had to. Okay, here. Ow, fuck. Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ah, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? No. Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, Maester. Oh. I don't think you would have bled to oh. death. Oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. Some water or something. Please. I'll see what I can find. Can't we just scoop up some snow and melt it? Somehow? Okay, let's check around here. What do we got? What do we got? Big pile of nothing. Checking the hut. Whoever was living here must have left. Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. Yeah, that is kind of lame. Maybe it was those women. Let's talk to Finn. What's up, Finn? I still don't trust him, you know. Okay. Oh, no. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. He wanted to get what stabbed in the arm? Us here? Let's give him a chance. Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. He's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. He took a spear for us, all right? Let's see what else he has to I'm say. I'm going to keep an eye out. Okay. What do we got back here? Oh, another hut. Come on, big money. Some food, some water, a heater. Got some spears. Someone's still living here. Oh shit. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't okay. Move. Oh man. I'm warning you. Look, just. Oh, I'll. I'll gut you like a fucking fish. Are you the one I let go free? I helped you. You do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. Won't take long. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Wanna kill her yourself or should I do it? Calm down, Finn. It's just a little Garrett. girl. Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! Just let us go. We'll leave. That's what you want, isn't it? Co 
Otto. Oh, Sylvie. Oh. You're alive. Must be a sister or something. Snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. <laughs> right. You brought crows here. You planning on introducing this cutter? Right. Uh. <laughs> this is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. She looks like somebody from Village of the Damned. Lord Roderick, Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? All right. Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come, but it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. Am I in danger here? My father honors guest right, just as you do. And I'm supposed to trust my life to that? Let's just ask him. I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today, which means keeping a level head. I'm here in good faith. Before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes, I suppose you are. Exactly. There are lords who wield power, and lords who like to make a show of it. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Your soldiers seem on edge. Well, what do you expect? The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? My lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Brothers. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Carl died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Torin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. Lord Whitehill. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. Uh, <laughs> look out. Look at Gwen's angry face. That must be you. <laughs> much younger me, yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Like a grumpy Gus. I got mom. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. There did seem to be something, like, kind of sad about Griff. Even when he was being a douche. Like, I kind of felt bad for him a little. There's something pathetic about him. Like, you couldn't help but feel sorry for her. Also, he looks like Jason Mewes. And... 
Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. Oh, fuck. Uh, I we're... don't like this. No, I don't either. Let's be ready to defend ourselves. Just say the word, my lord. Ryan for Griff. That is the plan. Yeah, that's the plan, but it looks like we're about to get red wedding. We should have brought the Glenmores. I'll look around. See what we're up against. Why all this? If they mean to betray us. Bread and salt would mean we're protected by guest right. Even so, I'll be ready for anything. That's good. Although, even if they do attack us, what could you do? Take out like a couple of them before we're killed? Can I look up at the top? No. Oh my god, he's so slow. See what she has to say. Are you all right, Mother? I don't know what Lud's planning, but I'm not leaving here without Ryan. Not when we're so close. I won't just turn and abandon him. Follow my Whatever lead. Happens, just follow my lead. I will. You have my word. I don't know about that. She's she seems uh, she seems kind of rebellious to me. Gets very carried away by her emotions. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! Calm down. Eesh. Okay. Hopefully we can get to Royland from around this table over here. Now I'm gonna talk to Royland before I try any doors. What's Lord Whitehill planning? Bloodshed, most likely. We won't go down without a fight. No, we won't. Just follow my lead, whatever happens. Well, why would they wait until we're in here to kill us? Let me check, up, check this door and then I'll try going upstairs. I don't think it's all open. No. Oh shit. Roderick. Oh you. Welcome to High Point. Lord. I don't like that smirk on his face. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. And unlike Stark, you don't even have bodyguards. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast. To family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill. To the crowd. No falling, White. <sighs> no fucking courtesy. I feel like you're gonna poison me. Maybe we trade glasses first. 
The ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yes. You know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Yes, exactly. Let's help me craft Ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. As if he protect us. <laughs> if you think you can threaten I'm us. I'm not threatening. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. He'd make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you. I offer you peace, and you spit at it. Well, I would I hardly offer opportunity, and you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Oh God, we're gonna Here's die. Here's how it's gonna go, Roderick. Either you agree to my terms, or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to They're get what you want. They're making slaughtering your small folk. Maybe you'll even make you watch. Too bad your son is locked in our Buddy. cellar. I was trying to what keep that a secret. About? We've taken Griff hostage, along with every soldier in your foul garrison. <sighs> you didn't. You've imprisoned my son. Well, he was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? Now it's my turn to propose a deal. Your son Griff for my brother Ryan. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. We're dead. They're gonna kill us. Red wedding all over Bring again. The boy. Ryan! Mother! Frotry! I I thought you'd forgotten about Oh her. god, I knew it. No! Father, no! What are you doing? Don't you oh, imprison my man. flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I swear by the gods if you will hide! Get down! He's a child! Uh, a son for a son! This is not what we are I'm him! Not me! We didn't you kill your son! Griff alive again. You think I give two shits about Griff? Oh god. About my fucking fourth born! He's gonna kill him. <gasps> oh, okay. I want to kill you right now! Because you forest has never learned. I'm not afraid of you! Can I fucking murder him yet? Go on then. Do it. What? You think I won't? I know you won't. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. I hope. Whitey is still a white. Come on, no. No, 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 no. Let's put it down, put it down. You know what, Roderick? Oh god, no, he's gonna do it. You're right. Oh, man. Ryan, come here. No. Jesus. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both. When the Boltons come for their ironwood. Oh, uh, let's not even think about that. Now go. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure, blood. Hmm. I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> but everything is a mess. Oh, God. Iron from ice! <laughs> Kid's kind of scrappy. Ugh. There it is. The East Watcher. 
Okay, actually, I'm gonna have to stop it here because we are running out of time. So, I will be back. Adios. I would be your muggy man, mama. Just can't cram no coconut tree. I would be your monkey man, mama. Just can't clam no coconut trees. Clothes ain't sharp enough. My clothes ain't sharp enough. I break down with you, dizzy males. But I don't get on my happy black knee.